I bet you didn't know that you can counter from 90 degrees to the boss. Vaulton is coming up, and countering is going to be a necessary mechanic for everyone to understand. There's a lot of nuance to it. Even your supports should probably be taking their counters for Vaulton. So I'm going to play that first clip back. What you'll see, I'm basically 90 degrees to the boss, and I aim my cursor in front of the boss rather than at the boss. And what it does is it makes it so that my counter hits the boss's front attack hitbox. So I'll play it again on a different class, full speed, and then slow it down. You'll see again, I'm not in the front attack hitbox. My actual counter goes and hits that hitbox and it lollipops so that it treats it like a frontal attack. A couple more things, you have multi-hit counters. So first attack hits, counters. Second attack hits, counters. If you have a really quick one like War Dancers, you can use your space bar and that'll help you reposition so that you can hit your counter. Some classes like Gunslinger only have a single hit and makes it a lot harder to do these kinds of tricks. It also makes it so that you have to be really good with your timing if you're going to hit a single hit counter on it. I'd suggest that you probably solo queue for Guardians and practice some of this stuff on your own if you can. Alright, next up is push immunity. So most classes will have push immunity maybe on one or two abilities naturally. Uh, if you don't have push immunity on your actual abilities, then some classes will have tripods. So my Catastrophe, my Deathfire, they both have tenacity tripods which give push immunity. Push immunity is really important on Vaulton, especially later in the fight and especially on hard mode because Vaulton's abilities, while they do a lot of damage, they'll also knock you down and on hard mode they'll knock you back very far. If you get a couple of these chained on you, even if you're tanky, you'll still get knocked off the platform and die. So what I would suggest that you do, you come to Trixian, do training, summon boss monsters until you get one hand. You'll see, so his grab and his tr big triangle, they'll both push, right? So my death fire stops this from pushing. See? So having push immunity in your kit is going to be really important for Walton. Go to Trixian, check out your push immunities, see how long the windows last. Uh, for example, on my ward answer, which I'll be doing normal on, I ha only have push immunity on Flash Heat Fang which is a pretty low animation time ability. And I have to take a tripod that take, makes a, a little bit less damage, but it's worth it for the safety of it. So test it out yourself. Lastly, consumables. So these are useful consumables for Vulton. The first row you have your food consumable. This is available on the marketplace. You can make it in your stronghold. If the blue is too expensive, there's a green version that has whatever one of the three things on the blue food that you want, whether it's the 6,000 uh, DPS stat, 4,500 vitality if you're support, or resource recovery if you're playing something like First Intention uh, Ward Answer. The grenades, you're probably going to want whirlwinds for gate one, but the dark grenades are good DPS boost, and flame grenades can help weaker classes with imprisons, uh, soloing getting people out of imprisons. Bombs are only necessary for gate 2, you want 1 and 7. The potions, panaceas, cover for cleansing the bleed in gate 1. DPS potions you can take in gate 1 if you have something like a purify rune, so I'll probably run ATO2 grenade for this and throw a purify rune on it. These are from 5 Ignea tokens, so if you can get this it's really good. Time stops are basically necessary for gate two. Uh, if you want to, you can put out for splendid elemental HP potions. It's probably not necessary yet. These are extras. So you can see these are all grouped by exclusivity. So you can see this is tagged with potion, 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 potion. You can only have one of these equipped at a time. These you can have multiple. So for gate one, when you don't need bombs, you'll have one grenade HP pot, and then you can choose between one of these and one of these or two of these. If any of this helped you out, maybe like the video, throw me a comment, give me some feedback. I'm pretty new to this. I'm gonna be streaming Vaulton tomorrow on Twitch. I'm gonna be doing normal and hard. My Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash FK Winters. Thanks for coming in, checking the video out. I'll see you next time.